Hi, I'm Matt Loom. I'm the production designer uh, of Life Partners, and we are here in the set of Paige's house, which is one of our main sets for the movie. I think we spend more screen time in this house than we do at any other place. For me, that means we have to, because we shoot in the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen, the dining room, the backyard, the living room, the front of the house. The entire house essentially is a hot set, so we're filming everything here. In the script, uh, in those scenes, uh, needs to be prepped in advance and uh, ready for the camera. I'm Courtney Hoffman, and I'm the costume designer for Life Partners. Layton was really fun to transform from this like gossip girl to someone who was represented, representative of the lesbian community, and somebody that wasn't passing as like a lipstick lesbian, or you know, passing as someone that like she doesn't have a lot of money. She's thrift shopping her stuff, or she's like inheriting it from different people, and or she's had it since college. And I think making that evident in her wardrobe, um, and so we did that. I mean, everything she wears is from a thrift shop or borrowed from somebody or, you know, um, it was a it was a beg, borrow, and steal kind of movie. This is the most comfortable I've ever been in life or in a movie, especially in a movie, because I just get to basically wear what I wear to set, like shorts, t-shirts, jeans, sweatpants, a lot of sweatpants, and then like no makeup and hair. It's amazing. And it's still like somehow really cool looking. This is Paige's living room. This is where she makes out with Tim uh, for the first time. And uh, this is where her and, and Sasha sit and watch Top Model. And this is her main space in her living room. This is where she watches her favorite shows. You know, the, the story is about these two friends. And one of them is a lawyer and one of them is an artist and the lawyer is doing quite well, and as her career blossoms, she's taking some of her money and getting a bigger apartment, a bigger house in this case, buying some new things and kind of taking care of her environment a little more. Whereas uh, Sasha just still lives in the place she rented when she was in her early 20s, just out of college, and still kind of keeps the same lifestyle and stuff, whereas Paige is trying to upgrade her lifestyle a little bit. You know, you're mid and late 20s are such a hard time to dress yourself because you don't have the money necessarily of the professional that you want to be, but you need to look professional. And I think that's something that, you know, Paige has really nailed and that Sasha hasn't figured out. And she has this job and she, you know, thrift shops all of her like workwear clothes. And, um, you know, Paige is someone that's really reveling in being this professional, being this young lawyer um, who's really on a career path. And I think, you know, visually, even in their casual wear, you see that. Paige is like a slightly more preppier, uptight, conservative version of my style. A lot of ruffles, which I don't tend to wear, but I am wearing some of my own clothing in the film, nothing that I'm wearing currently, but, so I can't really uh, dog on her style too hard if I'm wearing my own clothes. It's definitely, she's the more conservative of the pair. I have, a, I have a fondness for stripes, and I was wearing an anchor earlier, a shirt with an anchor on it, which was very cute. It's, it's cute, but a little uptight. One of the scenes, my favorite scenes, is when they're at the motel playing Girl Talk, and they're just wearing these, like, hideous sets of pajamas that I think girls wear. I mean, I a lot of them are mine. Like, we all, or my roommates, like, pajamas, actual pajamas. And I think one of the things that's so special about being with your friends is that moment to, like, let loose and wear whatever you want to wear. You know, it's a big commitment, and so you have to believe in the story. You got to believe in your director. You have to uh, want to do it. And everyone so far seems really enthusiastic and committed. And, uh, you know, I guess what I was saying earlier is there's really a just all these people come together to make this film and they have different backgrounds and they have different experiences and they have a lot of talent and all that talent just gets focused into this one place, this one point in time to tell the story. And uh, it's really special. It's, it's only gonna happen once. This will only happen once. It's just one point in our lives where we're all together and we're making this thing happen. And uh, I think everyone's really excited about it.